Tokyo Electric Power Company has confirmed that radioactive water leaked from the Fukushima Daiji plant into the sea. Spokespersons say the 150 liters of water contained strontium, which has been linked to bone cancer. Workers at the plant found the water leaked from cracks in a desalination device. Investigators detected beta ray emitting radioactive substances, including strontium, in a gutter near the building. The gutter drains into the Pacific Ocean. Experts say strontium accumulates in the bones once inside the body. It has properties similar to calcium and releases radiation for a long time. One type, strontium-90, has a half-life of 29 years. TEPCO spokespersons apologized for the leak, but they said it's likely to have little effect on the environment. A major Japanese food company says it will replace about 400,000 cans of powdered milk for free after samples of the product were found to contain radioactive cesium. Meiji Company says 30.8 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram was found in powdered milk produced between March 14th and March 20th. That's below the government safety limit of 200 becquerels per kilogram. But Meiji decided to replace all of the powdered milk it produced during that period. The product was tested after consumers questioned its safety last month. Meiji says all of the powdered skim milk used as a base for the recall product was processed before the March 11th disaster. Some of it came from Hokkaido in northern Japan and a large amount was imported from Australia and other areas of Oceania. The final product was processed at a facility in Saitama Prefecture near Tokyo after March 11th. Meiji says that radioactive cesium from the Fukushima Daiji plant may have entered the Saitama facility when it was ventilated during the drying process. Forget the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're gonna love waiting for it. It's a massacre. The Japanese government has banned shipments of rice harvested this year from a part of Fukushima City after radioactive contamination was discovered. The area is about 60 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Inspections last week found up to 590 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram in rice from three farms in the city's Watari district. That's over the government limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram. The prefectural government says the ban affects 406 rice farms in the region. Rice shipments have already been banned at another part of Fukushima City and two areas of Date City in the prefecture. As usual, you got us in some serious shit here. The operator of the Mihama nuclear power plant in western Japan says it has shut down one of three reactors after a month-long leak of radioactive water. Kansai Electric Power Company says it began on Wednesday night manually shutting down the number two reactor at the plant in Fukui Prefecture. The work was completed as of 4 a.m. on Thursday. The utility says the radioactive water has been leaking from a valve in the pressure vessel into a collection tank since early November, and it feared the water would overflow. The company says all the leaked water has been collected into the tank within the reactor and that the leakage has caused no damage to the environment. Do you know what I'm going to do? No, I don't. I'm going to take a bath. I'll alert the media. The reactor was scheduled to be shut down on December 18th for a regular check. The suspension means that 46 of the country's 54 reactors are currently offline following the Fukushima nuclear accident on March 11th. Okay, it so goes who, on. Who are the power, power pirates? Power pirates. Okay. I get uh, through the mail about 500 pieces of paper. Um, and, you know, I burned the envelope, so I, I can't tell you who sent it to me. But this is the real information about what is, uh, it's coming from inside a Houston power company, all right? And what we're finding out, this is the company that just got approval from the Bush, uh, excuse me, the, the oh, Bush administration, the Obama administration, who has approved four nuclear plants, by the way, which, uh, yeah, a, a, that was stuck into the bill for body armor for troops in Afghanistan, okay? They bid $5 billion. They said they could build a nuclear plant for $5 billion. The inside documents say $7 billion, right? 
So, by the way, the difference between five billion and and, and seven billion Ancient is two is is two billion. That's that's money in my neighborhood. It used to be fraud, but you'll love this, Tom. The Supreme Court has ruled that while people people can go to jail for fraud and racketeering, corporation people who are power companies are exempt exempt from the racketeering laws like yeah. that. Now, then I find out something else. Fukushima blows up. I used to be a racketeering investigator for the government, um, which will upset your last guest that, there's, that there was a government. There was one time a government. It was, it was very, very, very upsetting. And we used to actually investigate criminals. Yeah. And uh, I've, I had files on the nuclear plant builders. I see Fukushima blow up, and I know the thing's going to melt. I go back in my files, and you'll see the documents in here. I go back in my files, and what do I find? From 1988, I have the engineers notebooks, handwritten notebooks, you'll see them there in Vulture's Picnic in the chapter called Fukushima, Texas. The engineer's notebook says, this plant, no way, can withstand an earthquake. It will utterly fail in an earthquake. They knew. The company, by the way, where that notebook came from was Stone and Webster. The company designated to build all four nuclear plants, which had been approved by our Congress and NRC, is going is Shaw Construction, which is the new shape and name of Stone and Webster, the guys who faked the earthquake proofing reports. And by the way, they got the contract to rebuild Fukushima. So those are your power pirates. And that's just the beginning of it. You got the inside stuff. The high, and the, and the uh, high finance carnivores. The so high we, oh, we have 30, 30 seconds. High finance carnivores. Well, Paul the Vulture Singer. Yeah. The number one sugar daddy of the Republican yeah. Party. So we've so come full circle. <laughs> read, read what you don't want him to read. Yeah, Greg Palace, Vulture's Picnic, in pursuit of petroleum pigs, power pirates, and high finance carnivores. My friend, you have created another masterpiece. Thank you hey, so much Tom, for being here. You're the best. Great to see you, Greg.